everyone. This is Diana from Hepburn Libraries. This review was written by my daughter, Maya, and I so heartily agree with it that I just had to share it. Ever wondered what this equation would equal? Harry Potter plus Alice in Wonderland plus the real world plus family equals... Well, that question mark is the extremely inconvenient adventures of Bronte Metalstone by Jacqueline Moriarty. This is an extremely intriguing, intriguing book for delight readers of all ages. It is about a girl called Bronte Metalstone and how she has to deliver presents to all of her aunts. Alone and with only her parents' will to guide her, she goes on an incredible journey to, del to deliver all of the presents. She must do it at certain times and places or, her, or else her hometown will be torn to pieces by the Will's fairy cross stitch. Along the way, she will learn about herself, the world, as well as her aunts. I really like this book because of how the author describes all the situations. It is a well-paced book, not too slow that it is boring, not too fast that you can't understand it. I love how Jacqueline Moriarty builds the plot while also transporting you to a place of dragons and music that makes towns come alive, as well as keeping you in the real world of cars and books and letters. I would highly recommend this book to everyone who likes a good laugh and a story where the impossible is possible and where dragons fly the skies. Five stars. Thank you, Maya. Don't be put off by the 494 pages. Discovering the different worlds of each aunt weaves many short stories into one journey that really has something for everyone. Sports and pirates, art and melodrama, dangerous rescues, layers of mysteries to solve, desolate loneliness, impossible odds, but most of all, a really good laugh with wonderful characters. And so, I can't resist sharing a tiny snippet of Bronte's journey to a small island with an over-enthusiastic detective and one of my favourite characters. And then I did something strange. I went to the library. It had flat green carpet and white walls. People wandered amongst the shelves or stood frowning at the books. At the front desk, the librarian beamed. A child! she exclaimed. I looked over my shoulder quickly. Where? You! Her voice was full of vim. People turned to stare. Oh, I love to have a child in my library. I've just finished redecorating the children's section, so this is perfect, dear child. Trust me, you are going to love it. She popped up from her chair, placed her hand on my shoulder, swiveled me around and pointed. It does look very nice, I agreed. Go over at once, she urged. Sit on a caterpillar while you read. I was a bit dismayed. Well, I said, thank you, but may I look something up instead? Research! The librarian shrieked, and inside the library, people cleared their throats. <clears throat> One woman shot a cranky shh in our direction. The librarian looked guilty. I make too much noise, she confided. But I love it when people want to research. Do it, dear child. You will love it. The catalogue is over there. Her voice rose to a shout at the end. People muttered disapproval. So, if you have ever had any problems staying quiet while reading a story, I recommend you go to Central Highlands Library's website, click on e-resources, and check out BorrowBox, where you can borrow The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone by Jacqueline Moriarty as an ebook. You can also get the sequel, The Slightly Alarming Tale of the Whispering Wars, on Cloud Library. Bye!